Our pets of the week are two baby guinea pig siblings. Meet Max and Gravy. The brothers are one month old. They came in together and are super sweet and snuggly. And because they're low maintenance, they'd make great family pets. Max and Gravy will be available at the Humane Society of North Texas's Benbrook Wagon Tails Adoption Center. Mm. It opens at noon. All right, speaking of animals, it is Wild Wednesday. Ryan with the Dallas Zoo joins us in studio today. Tell us about who you brought. This is Chamolsi, and Chamolsi here is an African crested porcupine. Wow, and then you, we just had some guinea pigs on, and you, you were saying that this is kind of kin to that, right? Yes, he is a rodent, so you wouldn't believe it, but his closest relatives are things like rats and mice. <laughs> so, where are these exactly found in the wild? Yeah, we do have porcupines all over the world. Uh -huh. Including right here in North America, right. but this Look one a is a lot found, different than this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This guy's found throughout most of sub Saharan Africa. So if you ever went on safari, mm -hmm. you might see these guys. And, and we always talk about the quills, that, uh, but they don't shoot the quills, all right? They do That's not. Kind of no, it's kind of a myth. What they do is they make him stand straight up, and then he's going to actually back into his predators, where most wow. of that armor's at. He's going to use that as his defense. <laughs> so what is he, what would incite him to do that? What would, what would make him get into that defensive yeah, position? Yeah, if he thought there was a predator nearby, first mm -hmm. he'd put those quills straight up, make himself look really big, mm -hmm. do a little bit of a dance, try to Scare off that predator and then use that backup as a last defense. Yeah. So and you're, what is his... you're this snack person, so he's not yeah. going to do that to you. Right? No, no, no. So. He knows us as friends. What, what is his foe. snack? What is his food of choice? They're herbivores, so they're going to be eating fruits, vegetables, leaves, bark. Today he's getting some corn, banana, sweet potato, all that yummy stuff. Ooh, that sounds okay. pretty good. All right, tell us about Backstage Safari. Back by popular demand, Backstage Safari starts up in a couple weekends, March 14th. It'll run Saturdays till early fall, and it's a 90 minute guided tour. You'll get a chance to get up close to things like gorillas, okapi, and maybe even. Chamosi. So you do that oh. during spring break, right? Absolutely. Oh, that's great. If you got a later spring break, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Oh, your kids have spring break late. Yeah, Mine have they early. Do. But the <laughs> it starts the 14th, yeah. right? 14th, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very nice.